What is going on guys, Ben Monsoon here, welcome back to another video. Now today I want to talk about something which I haven't talked about in a long while, and that is of course, Battlefield Hardline. Now believe it or not, this game actually came out in 2015, yes, 2015. <laughs> this game is barely a year old, yet it's already dead, easily. This game has died, and quicker than any other game I've ever, ever seen, aside from maybe Titanfall, but let's be honest, we all expected that game to die. When Hardline first came out, it was actually praised as being quite good, although a little bit glitchy, a little bit buggy. It was praised for being a reasonably good game. That was around about two or three days until everyone started to realise that it really was a piece of shit. And I genuinely mean that with all my heart. I'm a huge Battlefield fan, uh, ever since Bad Company 2 came out. Sure, I've had my patches with the game, but if there's any game that has really put me through the most turmoil, it is this game. This game caused me to stop doing Battlefield YouTube for a while, something which I really regret at the time. Um, I had so much hype and so much expectation built over Hardline when it finally came out and it just wasn't what I expected, I was absolutely devastated. Uh, and it was something that was really annoying to me because I wanted this game to be fantastic. I saw it and was like, yeah, people are doubting this one, it'd be great. And I, I had tons of expectations for it and it, it, it didn't deliver. I, I had 24 hours on this game. Yeah, 24 hours, and again, that's within a week, and you might be thinking, hey, 24 hours I've been playing for a week, that's great. This is a week where I believe I was off when it came out, uh, and that is shocking if you consider that I've spent 330, 40 hours on Battlefield 4, and I'm nowhere near finishing that game. Um, Band Company 2 and Battlefield 3, I don't even want to think about how many hours I have on those games combined on console as well. And obviously it isn't just me that dislikes this game. Huge YouTubers such as Matimio, Levelcap, Jackfrags, Russian Badger, all of them have in a way boycotted this game and haven't posted content about it willingly in a long, long while. A lot of YouTubers have actually come out and said they dislike the game and you know won't play it at all. Um, which I congratulate him for, you know, any enterprise there's so much money involved in good positive reviews on things and you're basically paid to go to an event, it's very difficult then to say no, I dislike that. Um, but I, d I just feel that a lot of the time people really need to stand out and definitely say no, this is terrible. But it wasn't just the YouTube community that did eventually take a stand and say this game is bad. Players in general have just up and left this game. Uh, it went from having God knows how many servers completely stacked at launch to I checked yesterday uh, and I checked with a friend as well. We both had a look at the same time how many servers we looked later on as well. Worldwide, there was about 26 servers with players in them and that's maybe 10 to 14 with actual full server list. Now that is shocking compared to what this game is expected to have and compared to what Battlefield 4 still has now. Now without going on too much about the media impact of this game, I'll in general just talk about some of the issues that I felt the game had. Now first few obvious ones, aside from the major issue of a bad theme choice with the cops and criminals idea, um, again I, I personally thought it was weird but maybe could work, I was completely wrong about that. But I'm not going to go into that now, um, that's been addressed so many times and I'm going to leave that topic for maybe another time. Um, we'll have to wait and see if I'll talk about that at some point. But I want to talk about the main points, or some of the main points that people don't usually address. Now, first of all, the game and the maps were just badly designed. If you play Battlefield 4, the maps are designed so that you will clearly get uh, points of emphasis and points of battle where you have two enemies go head to head at each other with points to flank. That's why you get these sort of bottlenecks in places where you constantly have fighting. Uh, you know, you got to watch out for flanks as well, and sure, people might dislike it, but that's the gameplay that works best, and it's the gameplay that is most enjoyable and most consistent. The maps in Hardline are designed to be these giant sort of swarming skirmish areas with little arenas built into them, and the game, or the maps, is almost designed to be arena shooters, or at least a big map with several arenas designed into it. You might say, oh, that's similar to other Battlefield games. Other Battlefield games have interaction points along with the main game, if you look at Band Company 2. If you go from rush objective to rush objective, along that way there'll be a main road most accessible from one objective to the other. Now, in Battlefield Hardline, there's nothing like that. There's so many different routes that it's impossible to defend, 
and if the enemy does actually manage to get a solid stronghold, it's impossible to get past unless you get some brilliant piece of luck or in general just a ton of skill. Another major issue was some of the bad ideas of, of game modes included in the game. Nobody ever said there was a problem with a standard conquest mode or a standard rush, anything like that. Sure, you have to implement this new feature of a cops versus criminals, but honestly, couldn't you have done something with depending on rush? Maybe the criminals have to get into objective, blow up a case of money or blow up a case of gold, possibly, uh, which then, with the story, they would take, you know, uh, as to speak. Instead, they incorporated the heist mode, where I haven't played it in ages, of it, so it is completely lost in my mind. But the criminals have to get the, all the money, or have to raid the truck and take it back to the base, and it. Sure, I can kind of see that how they came up with that, but it just doesn't work. It, it doesn't work compared to anything that has been in Battlefield. And again, that is a problem with the cops and criminals theme, which I won't get into in this video. Now, the guns in the game in general were terribly balanced. At launch, if you played the game, you completely understand what I mean. Uh, three main ideas that come to mind, the AKM, M16, and M416 were all fantastic. Uh, the K-10 was just a beast in general, it was so powerful, and the game was just awfully balanced, uh, to the point where you literally, it looked like they got a, a board, a couple of darts, threw darts at the board with weapons displayed on it, and if it, a dart hit one of those weapons, they make it super powerful. If, it, if a dart didn't hit a weapon, it's underpowered, and it was basically, there were good weapons, or great weapons, and then useless ones. The L-85 had absolutely no advantages to it, um, and there were several guns exactly like that. Now a few of the other issues, the game was super buggy with constant performance issues. Uh, there were tons of exploits and just cheap tactics which could be used, uh, which really destroyed the game in general. Um, there were overcomplicated attachments, things that you have know, three different grips, but really there's six different grips, but there's only three types of grip. Um, stuff that has made no sense to have it in the game and you, you wonder why did they even include this and that and is there any point to any of them at all? Uh, and in general just terrible ideas how to change up the loadout system making it so that you have five available loadouts but nobody ever said they want more loadouts available uh, making it so that weapons are completely locked in to a certain faction without a certain amount of kills. Sure Battlefield 3 had a similar feature but for that with one weapon, it was the AK-74M for the Russians and you had to get it for the Americans then, and the M-16A3 for the Americans to get for the Russians. That makes sense. Hardline system doesn't make sense uh, to the point of a game, but of course it does make sense in the Cops and Criminals theme. But this, this is a game. This isn't real life. Don't forget that. Now let's talk about some of the issues that still last in the game. The maps and game modes haven't been changed at all, they are still bad on maps, they haven't you know, altered it in any way. Uh, there appears to have been no effort to even consider changing it or put in ideas in. Um, the game is still terribly balanced, uh, there has been a change, but now great guns that were once incredible are now bad, uh, a point in case of the AKM. Um, and bad guns are now much better, case in point for the MPX. And in general, some of the new guns they've added, the M4A1 is genuinely the worst gun that I think have ever used in Battlefield, and that is say seriously saying something. The reload is terribly, the reload is unbelievably slow, it is literally slower than most LMGs in the game. Uh, the rate of fire is dreadful, and the damage is just weak. Uh, in, in general, there seems to be no effort to actually balance the guns to the point where the game can function properly. It just seems like they've gone, yeah, give that a boost, give that a nerf, give that a boost, and then given up. There are still tons of exploits in the game, uh, and people are still using them to their full advantage. And this is, this is still super annoying, and uh, you genuinely think, do they, again, not consider to change any of this? Uh, the detachments are still super confusing, 
Uh, and even for someone who I consider myself very good at remembering the things like attachments and their advantages, their disadvantages, I can barely recall any of them, uh, nor do I actually care at this point. Uh, there's no effort to actually fix the loadouts, they have been left exactly the same, uh, it doesn't seem like there's any change going to come. The game is still incredibly buggy, you can see in some of this gameplay, my reticle just wasn't flat, this flat out wasn't appearing, uh, constant glitches with people coming through the walls, um, frame rate dropping randomly. The game is still really buggy and just badly optimized for PC, as well as it just doesn't seem to work most of the time. Uh, it takes a while to actually get the game started, longer than Battlefield 4, uh, and when you do actually get into a server then, the game is sometimes sort of twitchy and rickety in a way, uh, and it, it's, it's super odd to see that they haven't changed any of this, and that just shows they are not paying attention. Whoever is in charge of monitoring this game in EA literally walked out on this game. Uh, they have flat out not bothered to work on it at all on PC. I have heard the game is actually decent on console, although I would not advise buying it in absolutely any way. Definitely say go, back, go get Battlefield 4. The game possibly has become redeemable on PS4, but still, don't get it. For the final nail in the coffin for Battlefield Hardline, for me personally at least, I will finally say this game is worse than Battlefield Play for 3, um, and it is definitely worse than Battlefield Heroes, now that it is a serious insult to this game. If I'll come back and play it, uh, most likely I will, just to remind myself this is what could happen to Battlefield in the future, which is a real shame, um, and maybe just to... You know, it does actually get a huge patch one day and everything is better and the game actually becomes playable to the degree. Uh, maybe then I'll actually play it and actually enjoy it. Um, but the only Battlefield game I'm going to play at the moment is Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3 and whatever comes out hopefully in 2016. If there are any ideas you have for a game for a Battlefield game in 2016, tell me down below in the comments. Now hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, sorry if it, was, if it was a bit moaning and a bit ranting and if it was a little bit mumbly as well, I'm quite tired today and this is a late day, definitely want to get this video out for you guys, but if I could leave a like, a share and subscribe, next video will definitely be a loadout on a Saturday. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this one and I'll see you next time.